Okay. Uh, it's a guy's turn. It's a guy's turn. All right, this gentleman in the suit. Uh, welcome to Green Bay, Mr. President. It's an honor to have you here. Thank you, sir. Um, my name is John Corpus. I'm fortunate enough to be here with my 10-year-old daughter who is missing her last day of school for this. I hope she doesn't get oh, in trouble. Oh, no. Yeah. D do you need me to write a note? Uh, I'll take you up on that, actually, Mr. President. <laughs> All right, go, go ahead. Uh, I'll, I'll start writing it now. What's your name? John Corpus. No, her. Oh. <laughs> well, considering uh, I have some people here from work that are uh, very interested in... in no, no, I'm serious. Say, What's your uh, daughter's name? Her name... Huh? Her name is Kennedy. Kennedy, all right. That's yes. a cool name. That's a very cool name. Thank you. All right, I'm going to write to, uh, to Kennedy's teacher. Okay, go ahead. I'm listening to your question. Thank you, sir. Um... I work in a health system, and we work with employers, we work with payers, brokers, um, everybody to try to lower costs for employers. Um, we have retail health clinics, walk-in clinics, regular primary clinics, uh, an, an emergency department, and everybody's trying to do something now, but all I'm hearing is about what's going to happen long-term. And My question is, what is a timeline that we have set up for this? Uh, what do you see happening, especially in the area of um, working with employers to either offer more insurance or the uninsured being able to get them something now. Well, uh, look, uh, we're not going to be able, whatever reforms we set up, uh, it will probably take a couple of years to, to get it in place. Here you go, Kenneth. So there you go. There you go. You got it. All right. So. Whatever, whatever reforms we pass, we're not, it's going to take a couple of years to, to get the, all the reforms and all the systems in place. 